What's going on, guys? It's Ryan here, Michigan Storm Chasers. A few things to talk about here. We have some developments. We have some new updates to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Before I do, though, quick shout out to our sponsor, Cats Roofing and Siding, covering the greater Lansing, Battle Creek areas, as well as other portions of South Central Michigan. They have your roofing, siding, gutter, and window needs met. Feel free to give them a call. 517-485-9886. They do great, great work. And they are a great sponsor here with MSC. So feel free to check them out. Website will also be in the description below. Now, we do have a couple of developments here to talk about. Number one being tomorrow, we have a statewide general thunderstorm risk. But I will say this up front, not everyone is going to see a storm. So keep that in mind. But the potential does return tomorrow with the humidity right levels starting to rise back up. Today is going to feel like a relief compared to the last week, but unfortunately, it doesn't last long. We're going to be talking humidity levels Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but midweek next week, we'll be back into the tolerable levels. So we'll get there when we get there, but right now, focus is going to be next three days, okay? So statewide risk for thunderstorms tomorrow. We do have a severe risk in place for Monday. Our day three outlook here issued by the SPC shows portions of South Central Michigan within that marginal dark green area there for severe weather. Damaging winds is going to be your current concern. I don't want to get too specific with tornadoes and hail just yet. I don't think it's going to be a very high concern on either one. I do think the wind threat here is going to hold primary concern, but we're going to lock that down when we get closer to Monday. Okay. Further north, though, north of Mount Pleasant into the portions of the UP, we have a general thunderstorm risk there for Monday. So most of the state in a thunderstorm risk category there come Monday, severe risk tied to South Michigan. On top of Monday, though, what could be the biggest story is once again, heavy rainfall is likely come Monday for portions of the South Central state. We have a slight risk in effect here from the WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, Different from the SPC, this is a rainfall forecast, not a severe forecast. So we have that 15% probability of flash flooding or just overall excessive rainfall here for a majority of the south central part of Michigan, but it's a pretty good chunk there of Michigan in general, minus the UP, obviously, and northern lower. But still, the threat there for perhaps excessive rainfall does exist come Monday for the majority of the lower peninsula. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the models here. We have that severe risk on Monday. Let's go ahead and focus on Sunday first, just to get you through the day today. today the day today will be dry, so keep that in mind, unless you're in the western half of the UP. Looking at the future forecast here, looking at the ARRR model, we have some showers coming in for the western UP later on this evening tonight. Those shouldn't be a big deal, but locally heavy downpours would be definitely possible. Perhaps some frequent lightning as well in the heaviest cells. These should just be passing showers, not a big deal at all. Into the overnight hours, they linger around, and they come into the northern lower peninsula by tomorrow morning. And that's when we have the start of our Sunday outlook at 8 a.m. Looking at the future forecast, we have lingering showers up there to start the day. We have some pop-up showers possible in northern lower. I would not rule out a pop-up in southeast Michigan or along the U.S. 131 corridor near Lake Michigan or Lake Erie. Could see some general pop-ups along Lake Breeze boundaries tomorrow. Would not rule that out. I do think it's a low threat overall. Majority of us will stay on the drier side tomorrow uh, and also today. Uh, so keep that in mind as we have plans. Just keep an eye out just in case you do live close to a lake breeze prone area, which could spark off some showers, or perhaps a storm. Low chance of that happening either way. All right. Into Sunday, though, temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s, perhaps touching 90 in spots. Humidity levels are going to be rising back up. So it's going to feel warm. It's going to feel muggy. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I have to break the news to you. But that will break by the midweek of next week. That mugginess, though, will last into Monday and also perhaps parts of Tuesday. That's what causes our severe event coming in for Monday. Looking at the future forecast here on the NAM 3 model, we're going to see why we are in a slight risk here for excessive rainfall. If we flash back to this. This is for Monday. Looking at the NAM 3 model here, moving this through into Monday. Check out to the west of us. Bam, here comes all of the rain here come Monday. So portions of north central Michigan as well as the UP getting in, getting in on that rain. But also, we have this complex back here. That's what we're going to watch there very closely across Minnesota, Wisconsin. That is going to be our severe threat, potentially, for Monday evening. We're going to watch it close. Overall confidence is low, given that this is a pretty messy setup. We're going to be watching that 
and have updates for you guys as we get closer. But overall, a lot of rain here with that warm, moist air mass is going to have very efficient rainfall rates, one to two inches per hour, definitely on the, on the table here. So flooding potential definitely going to be the highest concern. I would not rule out severe storms at this point in time. It's just going to be a matter of pinpointing when and where with this messy system. Now, pass this into next week, we're talking Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to be dipping back into the upper 70s temperature-wise, and then the humidity levels will fall off after the Tuesday into Wednesday time frame. All right. With that being said, that's all I got to share with you guys uh, as far as the weather goes. So enjoy a dry day today. It should be a dry-ish day tomorrow, but definitely more muggy for your Sunday and into Monday rain chances and perhaps some severe chances increase back in for a majority of Michigan with a severe threat tied to the southern portions of lower Michigan. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Another update video here at Michigan Storm Chasers.